everyone and welcome back to FSI DFS. I am McKinley 412 and today we're going to be looking at this large 10 game slate on Saturday. It's a pretty nice size slate but not a whole lot of huge favorites. We got a whole lot of close matchups, a lot of studs on the slate uh, but it, it should be exciting. I think things are going to be pretty spread out from an ownership perspective uh, and your biggest favorite on the slate, believe it or not, is the expansion team Seattle Kraken. So jumped a little far ahead there. So yeah, so Seattle, biggest money line favorite on the slate at minus 192, followed by Colorado, Washington, Calgary, and San Jose. But you can kind of see not the largest of favorites, especially on a 10-game slate. We're not seeing those 200, 300 uh, money line favorites like we've been seeing throughout the season with teams like Florida and Carolina. Uh, but Florida and Carolina are actually playing against each other in a showdown uh, at 6 p.m. Eastern. So I'm super excited for that game just from a NHL fan perspective. Uh, you got two of the best teams in the entire league. Carolina's going to tie the record possibly at 10 and 0 to start the season. Uh, so if you're just a fan of hockey, please check that game out. It should be super exciting. Uh, but as for the slate, um, Seattle, biggest money line favorite, and Vegas. Um, the betters uh, are not really expecting uh, really many goals. You only have one game of these 10 that is over a 5.5 over under, uh, and that's that Washington Philly game. But we know from the past with Washington Philly and just kind of like those heavy metropolitan division matchups, those games can be shootouts, but they can also kind of end up and just become like 3 1, 2 0 kind of games. We've seen it in the past. Uh, so it is a six over under, but I think I would probably lean it closer to the 5.5 like everybody else. All right, so let's go towards the center position. We'll use some cash targets, some GPP targets um, for this slate tonight. So Elias Lindholm uh, at 7.2. He's kind of like the first cash target that I'm going to be looking at. Um, I'm not really too excited with paying up at center tonight, uh, but still. Uh, Lindholm, he's going for Calgary here. Uh, they're facing the Rangers. The Rangers just had a long night. Um, last night in Edmonton. I know Edmonton and Calgary are right next to each other, but still, it was a long night. They had to deal with McDavid all night. They had to deal with Dreisaitl all night. Uh, they let up a lot of goals, and Lindholm's been doing pretty well so far this season. He's got seven goals, five assists, and 10 games. Uh, he's probably one of their better uh, point producers on the entire team. So Lindholm at 7.2K, I don't mind him. We'll just go through the cash guys here first. Uh, Thomas Hurdle, the Ninja Hurdle. Um, he's been doing really well lately. He's got five points in his past three games. Uh, and we kind of mentioned New Jersey without Jack Hughes right down the middle. They're a little, uh, lacking. So, uh, I think he's going to do pretty well here. He's got 12 shots in his past three games, getting close to 20 minutes of ice time uh, in his past three games. He's got 20 DK points, 29 and 10.8. Uh, so at 5.6, we are getting a little bit of a discount here in a nice matchup. And then we're going back to, to Nicholas Waugh here for Vegas. We put him on the previous preview video, uh, and he did very well with us. Got us a multi-point game at 3.3K. Uh, so we're going back to the well here, and he just got a slight bump in salary at 3.4. Uh, Vegas hampered by injuries, especially down the middle there. Uh, so Waugh at 3.4 is going to be centering the top line. He's going to be seeing power play time as well. Uh, he's going to be skating in between Marcia Show and Smith. And they're going up against Montreal. And we know about Montreal's struggles so far this season. So if there's going to be goals from Vegas, which I'm expecting there's going to be quite a few, um, not, I guess, three or four, um, but it's probably going to be coming from that top line of like Marcia Show and Smith and possibly where we can get on uh, a helper with one of them. Over to GPP, Kuznetsov, 7.4K. His price is just too high for a cash. Uh, floor here. He doesn't shoot the puck as much as, you know, a couple of the other studs who are up in this range. Uh, but still, Washington, uh, I can't remember what did we say. They are the third biggest money line favorite here. They're in the highest over on their game. And I don't think really many guys are going to be gravitating towards Kuznetsov here. I think they're going to be going to more of the other studs that do um, shoot the puck just a little bit more. But still, pairing him with like a guy like Ovechkin as a nice mini stack, I think it's going to be pretty, I'm not going to say super low owned, but it's a large slate. There's lots of different ways that you can go. Uh, I think Kuznetsov with his limited floor is probably going to be pretty low. 
Uh, Shifley next at 5.7K for Winnipeg. Shifley and Wheeler, you know, they were on COVID uh, and they just, their prices are super low. Um, these guys are studs. They're really great um, hockey players. And Shifley last season, he was in the 7K range. Uh, so we are getting a pretty good discount on him. Now he has not produced at all this season. Like he's really been struggling uh, to put the back puck in the back of the net. But this is still a guy we know what he's capable of doing. And all it takes is one breakout game from him to really kind of get that salary back to where it should be. So I think 5.7, we are getting a slight discount on him. Um, so I do like him at this price for GPP. And then Yanni Gord at 5.1. Gord's kind of the same way. Uh, he hasn't produced as well as we he probably should have so far this season. Uh, but he's playing with Seattle. You know, Seattle is the biggest money line favorite on the slate tonight. And Gord, we know from seasons past with Tampa Bay, this guy, while his floor is around like four or five DraftKings points, he can just mow down a 30 point DraftKings like, like it's nothing. Like they just pop up randomly all throughout there. He's like a GPP darling in that case. Um, so he's already got a 24 point DK uh, point game this season. Uh, so Gord, I think he's in a nice spot here. Uh, going up against Arizona to really have one of his major um, boom games. Let's go over to winger. Man, I'm really struggling with the slides and the arrow keys tonight. Uh, let's go over to winger, Kyle Connor, right up at the top. We we played him in a previous video this week, and he got us zero. It was just unreal. He got us zero points because take out that zero, and in his previous games, he's had 27 DK points. 20, 39, 24, 38, and 33. This guy is a shot machine as well. Uh, he's got a shot and goal bonus in six of his 10 games. He's got eight goals, eight assists in 10 games. This guy is a monster, and his salary is not going up at all. Uh, so Winnipeg, I think, is in a great spot tonight. Well, Connor is in a great spot tonight uh, to just have another um, smash game. Kachuk, he's kind of like Connor Light uh, in that he's been shooting the puck a whole lot and, you know, he's definitely got that upside. They're at home tonight going up against the Rangers, like I mentioned with Lindholm. Uh, at home, Kachuk is averaging over five shots a game. So five shots is that shot on goal bonus. Uh, he's averaging more than that um, on home ice so far this season. He's got double-digit DK points in seven of his ten games so far. Five goals, two assists. He shoots the puck a lot. I think he's uh, got a nice value at 6.6K. And then going down to Dadanov at 3.3, going back to Vegas. And just with the injuries that they've had, Dadanov has seen an increased role. He's a guy who likes to shoot the puck a lot. We saw this with him back in Florida, and we can see it here so far again in the short season. Uh, he shoots the puck quite a bit, more than a guy at 3.3 typically does. Uh, he's going to see some power play time as well. He's got points in three of his past five. So I don't mind Dadanov in the spot at 3.3 going up against a weak Montreal team or a team that's struggling. GPP Ovechkin, 9K. I kind of talked about him a little bit with Kuznetsov. Washington, they're a top three favorite tonight. They're in the highest implied uh, game total at home. And Ovechkin is just out of his mind right now. All the offense from Washington is coming through Ovechkin. Uh, so really, if you want to go with like a different Washington piece, um, I don't mind that as a GPP target as well. Guys like Lars Eller or Mantha are strong. Um, so you guys go like outside of that top line. But really, Ovechkin, he's definitely leading the charge. It is just incredible what he's been able to produce so far this season. Goudreau, 5.7K. He skates on the line with Kachuk and Lindholm. I mean, I've kind of already mentioned that entire top uh, Calgary line. You can kind of see where I really like uh, to target tonight. But Gaudreau, he doesn't really have the floor as Kachuk does with, like, shots on goal and everything, but he's an insane hockey player. Johnny Hockey, um, he's just incredible. He can dazzle. He can dance. He can skate through guys. He's not going to shoot the puck as much as a guy like Kachuk, but he can definitely get you that multi-goal game uh, on any given night. And then Eberle. We had Eberle in our last video uh, just two days ago going against the Sabres, and he had a hat trick. Um, so Everlay, he got a little bit of a price boost at 4.8, but still it's Seattle. They're going up against Arizona. They're the biggest favorite on the night. Arizona is just historically bad. They're still searching for the first win this season. Uh, so if you want to go with Everlay, he's got that, you know, he's got that multi-goal upside. 
um, on a big favorite. Going to Defender in cash, you know, I'm not 100% sure I'm paying up at Defender tonight. Uh, I, If you know me, if you're in the Discord, you know that I love paying up at Defender, but I'm not sure I'm going to be going that route tonight. But if you are, uh, I think Pietrangelo for uh, Vegas is probably your best bet here at 7K. Uh, it's just a guy, he kind of gets you stats in all the categories. He can shoot the puck, he can block the uh, puck, um, and he can get on the score sheet. He did score his first goal of the season. Uh, it kind of came way later than we all expected, uh, but this guy can get you a goal to assist. He can get you, you know, points in all the categories. So we love that. Reed Sider, uh, 4.8K. He's going up against the Sabres, my lovely Sabres. They're just falling apart. You know, I mean, they're just, they are who we thought they were uh, going into the season. So they've really been struggling. They're finally back at home uh, where they have been doing much better. Uh, a team like Buffalo, they don't have the depth. They don't have the talent to really uh, get exposed with line matching and everything on the road. Uh, whereas at home, they can kind of like protect some of the guys lower down in the lineup. Uh, so I think Buffalo can kind of bounce back here against Detroit, but still. Uh, Maurice Sider, he's got a point in eight of his 11 games. And like I said, this, the Sabres look pretty bad. So I don't mind Sider here at 4.8K. And then if you want to go a little bit lower, you can go with Noah Dobson for the Islanders. 4K, uh, they're on the road. Again, they, they're just on this massive long road, road trip to start the season. If you haven't checked it out, please look into it. It's insane. Um, so he's 4K. He skates on that top power play line. Uh, so if you want to go a little cheaper there, don't mind it at all. He's got a, a bonus, whether it's a shot and goal bonus or a block shot bonus in five of his eight games. GPP targets, uh, Brent Burns for San Jose. Uh, he was a cash target for, I think, two videos in a row, but now he's kind of moved over to the GPP target just because his salary has increased quite a bit. Um, Giordano at 5.8. He was also a cash target for a little bit, but man, I don't... I don't know how much longer I can put him in a cash target. He's just in this great spot. He's a great defender, but I mean, he just hasn't been producing in really any of this stack categories. He's not shooting the puck as he has in the past. He's not blocking the puck as he has in the past, but still he's the top defender on the top uh, money line favorite tonight going up against Arizona. So I think he's definitely worth a GPP dart. He's probably going to see way reduced ownership because the guys um, who just, kind of see had he hasn't been doing very well so far this season and kind of are shying away from him but I mean this guy is a beast um he, he's got to snap out of it at some point and then on the other side um of that matchup we're going with Mayo for Arizona he's a block shot machine he's gonna get that shot and goal bonus a couple of times we court him last night uh, at FSI he got us nine point I think it was 9.7 uh DK points at just 3.7k so we we uh, did very well with that. So we're going back to the well here tonight. 3.9K for Mayo. We were looking for that shot and goal bonus from him. If he gets on the score sheet with a goal or an assist, awesome. Um, but, I mean, that, if he did that, it would definitely, definitely uh, hit his value. But he's going to hit his value just with a shot and goal bonus probably. Favorite line stacks, I mean, I kind of hinted towards it already. Kudrow and Hope Kachuk, that Calgary line one, going up against uh, New York Rangers, who just, they just got run over. Um, late in the game by Edmonton there. So they're probably going to be kind of disappointed with that. You no, know, they might come back strong, but still, they got a real tough task here in stopping the drill and Holmes and Chuck. And then GPP, I'm going to go with Rantanen, McKinnon, and Landis Cog. That Colorado one, Rantanen, he is back from injury. Um, this trio is very expensive. I could see people not really wanting to jam them in and use all their salary for them. Going up, they're on the road, uh, going up against Columbus. We'll have to see who's still in net for Columbus. Uh, but still, we, we know that this trio is one of the best trios uh, in hockey in regards to, you know, just a line from left to right all the way across. Uh, so I think they're a nice GPP target here. So that kind of wraps things up for today. Uh, I appreciate you guys watching this. Uh, if you want like a bigger player pool, uh, we do provide uh, a player pool now. Uh, at FSI, I just kind of give you some more cash targets, GPP targets, guys that we do have some interest in as well. Um, so please come check us out. Uh, our website is down below uh, in the link. The link is down in the description below. Uh, please hop in our Discord. It's very affordable. Um, even if it's for a day, we'd love to have you. Week, month, it's been great. We got a great group of guys in there. I uh, love interacting with them every single day. So 
come check us out. Hit that subscribe button. Thumbs up, comment. It really does help us out. Um, and yeah, as always, good luck in your contest tonight. And we will see you guys in the next video.